Hello, and welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. So today, I have a quick question for you. Do you ever find yourself dwelling too much in the past or worrying too much about your future while skipping everything that's going on, all the greatness that's going on in your current present reality? Do you find yourself worrying too much about the past and worrying about the future? Well, today on the Rich Mind Podcast, we're going to dive into the subject of living in the present moment and how living there more often, being present with your current circumstances will lead to a more fulfilling life, which I think is exactly what we're all trying to achieve, uh, trying to accomplish big things and big, big goals in our life at the detriment of our family, of our friends, or even of ourselves, because we're worrying too much about the past and worrying too much about the future. It's a struggle and I've struggled with that today. So I'm going to give you some ideas of how we can combat that, but then also maybe share a story or two about myself and how I've tried to become more present in my everyday life, which has allowed me then to uh, experience more of an abundant life, which is exactly what I try to help you with here on the Rich Mind Podcast. So let's dive into that. So living in the present moment can be a difficult challenge. Being present in your current environment with your current surroundings, with who you're with, I understand that sometimes can be difficult because our mind is always racing, racing towards a future that is uncertain, uh, worrying about a past that is also not necessarily or not always the most pleasant experience as far as when you're thinking back to the negative things that might be going on or has gone on in your life. I would encourage you to try, if you are thinking about the past, try to think about the things to be grateful for, some of the experiences that you've had. And how you do that is by being more present in your current circumstances, which is what we want to discuss today. So first off, I want to mention one idea that I heard. This was many years ago. This was actually at a Brendan Richard conference, and it was very impactful for me at the moment. And I've tried to live by this uh, since then, right? It's never a 100%. I'm not always able to do this 100% of the time, but I try to bring myself back to this moment. And this the idea that he shared uh, from stage one day was that giving your people that you're with, right? Your family, your friends, giving them a gift, giving them presents. And obviously when he talks about presents, he's not talking about gifts in style of, of birthday presents or Christmas presents or anything like that. He's talking about the gift of presence of you being in their environment. You being interactive with them is the gift that you can give to, to whoever you're with, whether it's even yourself, uh, you can be present in the moment, being mindful, uh, being conscious of your thoughts, being conscious of your surroundings, being conscious of what's going on around you, along with your family and your friends is something that you can give the gift of. And by doing so, you're going to begin to start living in the present moment. You'll be catching yourself more often as your mind begins to drift towards a future, towards accomplishing these big goals that everybody's out there trying to get us to achieve. And I'm not saying big goals are, are bad. That's not what I'm saying. But when you begin to realize that living in a future that doesn't exist, worrying about a past that doesn't exist is where you're going to get yourself caught up and you're not going to be able to experience the abundance of what's going on in your present moment and that's what I don't want you to do moving forward. And then the second piece that I wanted to share, this was something that was shared uh, by Bob Proctor. And I heard this through David Nagel. You'll hear me mention David Nagel many times on the podcast. He's been a huge influence on my life. His mentor was Bob Proctor. So a lot of times you'll hear Bob through David's teachings, which you're going to hear sometimes you're going to hear David's teachings, which means Bob's teachings and the things that I talk about and share as well. But I definitely want to give the people who I heard the idea from credit. Right. So this idea came originally to me from David Nagel, but it was uh, I would probably originate was from from Bob, Bob Proctor's where he got it from. And who knows where he got it from before that. And the idea is that thinking about your future and your past are both in your imagination, your future that doesn't exist yet. You're dreaming about a future that doesn't exist, which is creating anxiety, which is creating some stress within your life. You're worrying about a future that hasn't happened, that may not happen. And you're worrying about those things to the point where you're not giving your present moment its current need, right? You're, you're the need that you need to be in that moment thinking about the people that you're with, thinking about the activities that you need to be working on uh, and stop worrying about the future that doesn't exist. It's in your imagination. And on the flip side, the past is also in your imagination. All the stories, 
all the ideas, all the bad experiences. I get it. I've had all of them as well. But when you realize that it's all inside of your own imagination, that's where you can start to realize that all you have control over, all I have control over is right now, this very second, this very moment, me looking into the camera and speaking to you is all I have control over. And I can show up with as much energy as I possibly can, try to share as much value with you as I possibly can, but I don't need to worry about the future of an outcome that I'm not sure exactly what's going to be. I also don't need to be worrying about the past, the fumbles that you haven't seen me make in this episode, the edits that I'm going to have to do because I didn't necessarily say the right things or, or convey the message the way I wanted it to. I can't worry about that either. I need to focus on what I'm doing right now in this moment and realize that both my past and my future are all in my imagination. And what I can control is my present moment right now in this moment moving forward. So let me share with you a little bit of a story about me personally and how I'm actively trying to work on this every single day. That's one thing with the podcast that I try to share with you personal stories of myself as I'm actively trying to implement the things that I'm sharing with you here on the episodes. And I hopefully, hopefully you're finding them valuable. Uh, but the story that I wanted to share, uh, you may or may not know uh, that I'm responsible for my grandson. I've taken on the responsibility of watching my grandson, uh, every other week. So one week on, one week off. And the weeks where I have him, uh, I'm not able to get as much quote unquote accomplished as far as my goals and doing activities and tasks because I'm, I, I have some just tied up, right? I'm, I'm working, I'm working, hanging out and being with my grandson. He's currently nine months old today as we record this, but it's taking away my time that I would normally be applying towards whether it's creating a podcast, whether it's producing an episode, whether it's uh, promoting my businesses, whether it's whatever I else I needed to do on my to-do list. Those are the things I would be doing uh, if I wasn't spending my time with my grandson, Rowan. But what that does and what that has done in the past and what I'm working through is when the weeks that I have him, I get anxiety over not having the time to do the things that I quote unquote feel like I should be doing. I feel like I should be out promoting the podcast. I feel like I should be out promoting the services and products that I provide in the marketplace. I feel like I should be doing, 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 but what that doing is, is happening. And what that is happening to me is because I keep doing that. I'm not being present in the moment with the most important thing in my life at this moment or at that moment, right? When I say that the most important thing, I mean, just my family in general, but in that moment, it's taking care of my little grandson Rowan and making sure that he and I are bonding, doing the right things that we need to do, uh, making sure obviously he's fed, making sure that uh, he's just, he's good in his experience with us, with me, right? Needs to be as good as it possibly can be. And if I'm constantly worrying about a future that may or may not come true, that may or may not be what exactly what I need to do, then I'm not being present with him in that moment. And it's taken me a little bit of time to think through that. Uh, my wife has, has been a big help. You've heard Stacy on the uh, podcast many times here now, and her and I will have discussions about that and how I'm working through just not necessarily worrying about getting things done on my to-do list when I'm spending my time with my grandson, Rowan. Now, when he's not here, it's, it's all go, right? I'm trying to get as much accomplished as I possibly can in that uh, relatively short period of time of a week. Uh, but I tell you that when I'm more present in the moment with what's going on in my life, it makes me more calm. It keeps me more grounded in what I'm doing. And obviously it keeps me uh, happier in my moments with my family. Even when my uh, wife or my kids come by, even after a day with spending with Rowan, I'm not worrying about the future or what I didn't get done. I'm just present and I'm having a good time, enjoying my time that I'll never be able to get back if I don't enjoy this moments, these moments right now with my grandson, Rowan. So that's one story that I wanted to share that maybe it will resonate with you and the idea of, of not allowing yourself to be in the present moment. Uh, so some other things that you can do to try to maybe catch yourself worrying about the future or worrying about the past would be to, when you're on a walk outside, I discussed a few episodes ago with my friend, Greg Young, we talked about how making your walk or being outside a meditative experience, how you can just experience and look around at nature, whether you're in 
within trees, whether you have birds singing around you, whether you have animals around you, whatever the noises are, it's like, it's just a matter of just getting yourself in the moment of recognizing things in your current environment that you might not have necessarily really paid attention to in the past. But when you get in the practice of trying to be in the present moment, thinking about, okay, wow. So for me, it's a lot of times it's the bird singing, right? You can hear the bird singing in the tree, especially in the morning. I like, I try to take my walks in the morning, but you can definitely hear the bird singing and you know, just the songs and that they're talking back and forth to each other. And it's just, it, it's a pretty cool experience that if you're not really in the moment, if you're worrying about what you have to do that day, or you're worrying about what you should have done yesterday, you're not going to be able to take in that experience. And that's what I wish for you today moving forward. So let's just recap. So the idea for the episode today, I just want you to think about living more so in the present moment, being present in your current environment with your family, with your friends, even with whatever, even if you are working on a particular task, just work on that particular task. Don't worry about what you need to do. Steps five, 10, 11, 12. Don't worry about the extra steps. Just be present in the moment. Get those things done to the best of your ability. Spend as much time as you possibly can with your family, with your friends, and just be in that present moment and watch yourself blossom in different areas of your life. You'll be able to be more productive. Your anxiety, your stress will definitely decrease as they have for me. As I mentioned, this isn't a perfect uh, thing, meaning you're going to go back and forth sometimes, and that's just part of it. And you can have that experience as well. But the idea is you want to try to catch yourself as quick as you quickly as you possibly can and bring yourself back into that present moment. So that way you can enjoy yourself in your environment with your family and with your friends, or even with your coworkers, or anything else that's going on in your life at that present moment. So folks, I hope you found this message valuable today. The idea just is something that is I've been working on over the last few weeks, as I mentioned with my grandson Rowan, I'm just struggling sometimes in my own thoughts, thinking I need to get and be more productive. I need to go do more things. I need to, so I'm worrying about all of that. When I just need to be holding and rolling around on the ground and having a good time, with my nine month old grandson, instead of worrying about all the stuff that may or may not be important. Now, will I get those things done at a certain time or at some point in the future? Absolutely. But right now in this moment, that's not where I need to be when I'm at, when the, I'm in those times or having those moments with, with Rowan. So hopefully you found this message valuable. As I mentioned, uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing it with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate that. Anything to help try to spread the, uh, the rich mind podcast as far and as wide, I would greatly appreciate that. So go out there, have a fantastic day. Leave me a comment. Just let me know. There'll be opportunities. You can reach out to me. You can actually email me directly at Randy at Randy and email me. Let me know kind of where you're at in this situation with your life. How are you trying to get more present? Stop worrying about the future. Stop worrying about the past. Give me some examples of some things that you're working on in your own life. And they might be tips that I might be able to share here on the podcast. And obviously I can include those into what I'm trying to do in my daily activities as well, which would be, would be super powerful for me moving forward. And I would definitely welcome those emails. So reach out to me if you have any information or have any suggestions on how to improve being present in your current circumstances. And I would greatly appreciate that. But as I mentioned, go out there, have a fantastic day. I look forward to coming back with the next episode again very soon. Until then, bye now.